Don't be shy. Don't be shy. That's it. All right. Can you see Dad? Yes. Can you see Mum? Yes. All right. Go for it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We are here at Cradle Mountain. We've just bought our bus passes. So you have to catch the bus if you're here between 8 and 5.30 p.m. And we're going to do the Dove Lake Circuit. Yep, it's not just us this time for the next couple of weeks. In the next few episodes, we've got Jackie's parents, Stuart and Katrina. They uh, have just come across on the boat. How was your sail, guys? Oh, it wasn't too bad, actually. We had a one to two metre swell, so we, as we came out the heads, it was a bit rough, but after that, it all smoothed out, so it wasn't too bad at all. Beautiful. Hmm. All right, well, we've got to jump on the shuttle bus. We're going to show you Cradle Mountain, and then we are moving further around the west coast of Tassie this episode. So let's get started. Dove Lake, Cradle Mountain, here we come. <laughs> I know it's cold when Josh has got his beanie and his Kathmandu jacket on. <laughs> Okay, so we've just finished the Dove Lake circuit walk and that was really, really nice. Yeah, we're here at the famous boat hut. Mm -hmm. Boat shed. Yeah. With Cradle Mountain in the background. So, very Good. nice way to end the walk. What do you think about difficulty? Uh, pretty easy. It was like the last hill with like steps and stuff was a decent hill climb, but nothing, nothing I couldn't do. So nothing you can't do either. That's it. Well, from here, there's plenty of other walks you can do, but we are fast running out of daylight. It's almost four o'clock. So we're gonna start to make our way back to the information center where you jump on the shuttle bus uh, originally. But there are a couple of other stops, including a ranger's hut or ranger's station. Mm -hmm. And there's supposed to be some nice, really short walks there. So we're gonna head there and then Pick one, maybe two, we'll see how time prevails. Yeah. And we're gonna do one of those. Sounds good. Dove Lake, mate, Cradle Mountain, pretty iconic. Mm. Very nice. All right, we'll see you very, very soon. We've just jumped on the bus and jumped back off the bus and we are now at, we got off at Ranger Station. So we're at the falls here. Yes, there's a set of falls which is right on the main road. Uh, I think it's the start and end of the Enchanted Wood. So we're probably going to go do that little loop walk 
and it just follows this river up and then comes back to this bridge. How'd you like that one? Yeah, it's very good. It's nice. It's a good, uh, good one to do on your way out. It's easy on the legs. Very easy on the legs. And it's very pleasurable to the eyes. It's a yeah. nice walk. It's nothing like the lake, it's a running river, so it's really good. Yeah, it's pretty. And nice and quick, 20 and saw, minutes. And we saw a wombat. We did see a wombat, it was so cute. Just disappeared. He's just his tail on it. Off he goes. But uh, yeah, we're doing a rainforest walk, which is another easy walk. It's about 10 or 20 minutes. Yeah. It's another loop walk, and it's right here at the ranger station as well. So. Thought may as well fit in an extra 20 minutes, seeing as we're here. That's it. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I loved how he was standing up on his feet. Yeah. I love paddy mountains. I think they're <laughs> one of my new faves. Yeah. <laughs> Just like the quackers, eh? Yes. In Rottnest Island. Yeah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, we're already on this walk. And we'll give you a little bit of a taste of what this is like. Well, it's been a full day of walking. Just finished the two walks at the ranger station. And they're both really good. Yeah, both like easy walks and very pretty. Lots of wildlife. Recommend. Yep. Well, we've got sore legs and we are now heading back to the cars. It's time to go find a free camp somewhere. So we're going to see you guys when we get there wherever we end up don't know yet there's a few spots to check out so we'll try and find something suitable but we'll definitely be heading back towards the uh, western side of Tassie so we'll see you guys in a bit when we arrive at our camp Bye. that's it bye bye, bye. <laughs> all right well we have arrived at our free camp for this evening nice little bush camp there's a dam just behind this tree line and we'll put the name of the dam down here but it's uh, about six k's out of the town of Tulla, which is just north of queenstown so we're going to be here for probably a couple of nights we've got some stuff we want to check out tomorrow uh the steam train in Tulla is running mm -hmm. it only runs on certain weekends and we are here on the weekend that it is running. 
So we're hoping to check that out as well as a pretty special uh, waterfall walk, uh, which is the Montezuma Falls tomorrow. So that's the plan. Uh, the Montezuma Falls is at least about four hours return. So it should be a pretty solid walk. So that's what's all coming up. But right now, Jackie's parents are still setting up their uh, little expander and we'll put the drone up and I'll show you exactly where we are mate but it's a mint spot we drove across big damn wall to get to this spot which was pretty cool mm. and yeah here we are here we are love these free camps in Tassie mate they're great yeah they're very good and this one's a lot less crowded than the last one we stayed at <laughs> yeah in between episodes we stayed at uh, another free camp which was pretty much like a car park I'll overlay a bit of footage of what that was like it was supposed to be really nice um but it was yeah just packed and we were there for two nights and both nights we were parked in pretty much like seven cars deep so anyway we're here there's us and one other person so that's much more my style mate there's a caravan over the back as well so two people all right check this camp out and we will see you tomorrow tomorrow <laughs> I've been here for, but I have to stay afloat it's nice I be a person you don't want can somebody save me other thing going to do going to do Where's a life I Where's my shy Is this called living? I don't know, I don't know Where's the life I Where's my shy Is this called living? I don't know, I don't know I don't wanna grow up Just live myself I don't wanna grow up Well, good morning. It is a very brisk morning, hence the beanies and the, <laughs> the gloves on the hands. Uh, as we were coming in to the start of the Montezuma Falls walk, the car was showing three or four degrees. It's chilly. It is chilly. So we're here to do this walk. What can you tell us about it, Jackie? Uh, it's one of Tasmania's 60 great short walks. It uh, has a bit of tram history and one of Tasmania's longest, highest waterfalls. So it's a 5k one way walk, three hours return, but it's grade two, so it's pretty easy. Yep. So we should be able to just plot along quick enough. Sweet. That's about all I know so yeah. far. Monte, uh, Montezuma, the name comes from an, an, Az the, an Aztec emperor, but the name was also given to a silver mining company that was around these parts back in the day mm -hmm. so that's where the name comes from that's where we're walking it looks absolutely spectacular we're just waiting for these two people here <laughs> and then we'll begin the walk a bit slow this one it's a bit cold isn't it it is a bit cold all right let's go do it i think this should be pretty spectacular it's very green here mm. Let's get going. really cool we're on top of this bridge and there's water flowing underneath and there's this old trestle like bridge next to it which is probably where the tram used to run and it's just like wicked honestly like water and then 
this old bridge here. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's epic. Think of the history behind this part of the world. And then, I don't know. Like, it's just so magical. How do you... How do these things exist? Especially in Australia, right? It seems like they're remote out back and then there's just places like this. Mm. Stunning. The U Pitel. at the Montezuma Falls and there's this old mine shaft here which you can walk in about 20 meters and then it's barricaded off but the mine shaft just disappears into the uh, into the hillside it's very very interesting what do you reckon that is crazy I love it <laughs> it's so cool to hey? be able to see something that's so old Handcuffed from the side of the mountain. I reckon. And it's warm in there. Yeah. It's warm. Yeah, it's yeah. It's about five degrees difference in temperature. Mm. Very, very cool. And it's just right next to the Ooh. tramway that, yeah, we've continued to walk up this whole way. So it's been quite an easy walk. Where's my shy head? Is this called living? I don't know. Alright, well how good was Montezuma Falls? It was epic, really really nice. Beautiful. Really nice. Different again. Yeah. Took four hours all up and now we've come back. We're about two minutes from our campground in the town of Tawa and we're here at the Wee Gorgie Wood. Uh, it's a volunteer run steam train. Runs on certain weekends and we're going to jump on it for a ride. Mm -hmm. Got our Jackie's dad may even be getting a footplate ride maybe because he asked nicely. Very good. All right, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Oh, he loves it, doesn't he? <laughs> Look at him, he loves it. Talk himself into anything. Straight up talks to the train driver. Yeah, yeah. You guys coming or no? Oh, we got a conductor. Or is he going to give us a tour? Okay. Hello. Hi, how are you going? Hey. Good. You're doing everything. Yeah, you've been everything. <laughs> it probably tell you a bit about the history of the place. Oh, well, that's what you're going to do. So this is Galena, right, which is a crystalline form of silver and lead. A ton of this has about 30 ounces of silver in it, the local stuff, and quite a bit of lead. So what they do is they mine it, crush it, put it through water, the heavy valuable stuff that sinks to the bottom, the scum that you take off the top, that evaporate it, bag it, and five tons a train load would be taken by this train. You, you good? Would be taken out to the main line. Now. This was the, the railway was the only connection to the outside world. Um, if you just feel the weight there, you can feel the value in it. Oh wow! How heavy. <laughs> so mining that basically uh, supported about 100 families in the, the township of Tulla from the early 1900s until the mine shut in 73. The railway shut in the 60s when the highway came through. But the locals decided to reinstate this part of the track uh, for heritage purposes about 40 years ago. So what's mainly in this lead? Silver and lead, yes. That's great, isn't it? Don't eat your lunch straight up to like popping it. Oh, okay. Wash your hands, okay. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> What are you, how, how are you liking your foot plate ride? Very good, very yeah. impressed. A lot of knowledge and a lot of that uh, steam yeah. loco being over 100 years old. And it's pretty cool, hey? Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. I'm in paradise. <laughs> that little seat, that little seat of steam in there. Yeah. And that goes to the bottom, pushes the oil up, mate. It's too good, eh? That's all day, and the other one's the same, the uh, oil on the other side over here. It's just got the ratchet on there, and it'll just run up, run up the wire. Yep, up the top. The oil mm. wire. Simple stuff, like, and that's yeah. you know probably three hundred year old technology, mate. You know, two hundred and fifty yeah. at least. You know, just just works. Just works, mate. You know, simple yeah. stuff, and it's got a ratchet on there, so it just goes. And it's simple stuff, mate. There you go, guys. Did you want? It? No, 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 you jump in. This is all you. All right. 
Ready to roll, Benny. Happy days. Check fire. So you want to bring it up on top of the other What's up? Yeah, where all the long grass is being cut. Aha! You know it. Yeah, so. Oh, good. Still thinking. Yeah. Well, well, I'll, I'll drive down to close all the rest of the day then. Yeah. Well, they have been mostly damn close, right? Look for that. Want to break it off, Chief? Well, I'm just close to the rain. Watch your fingers on there, mate. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, if you get me, oh, brother. You'll see. Watch your little live water and dust. All clear. Get one with the All clear. Oh, okay. Thanks very much. Cheers, Josh. Thank you, guys. Hey, Cheers, guys. All right, well, we hope you enjoyed that. That train experience was really, really good. Yes. Uh, Stuart, your dad, has really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. He's a train enthusiast. He has his own little miniature railway at home. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is a great little find. It's $12 per adult to go for a ride down through the little town of Tuller, Tuller and back. It's probably about 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, well worth run. it. 100% well worth it. And we were the only ones on there, which was really good because we just had the place to ourselves and yeah, it was really nice. It was good. Once there's, so there's a loop up the top here uh, near the station where you pay for your tickets and you get on and off. And then down at the bottom of town, there's another loop where they turn around and they stop down there and we are able to get out and take lots of photos of the train and it was really, really good. Yeah. So, well worth it if you're here on the right weekend. Definitely. And on such a high, we're going to leave this episode here. We're heading back to our campground. Probably going to have a bit of a chill afternoon. If we get up to anything, we'll tell you about it. But otherwise, we're going to leave it here. What's happening next episode, Jackie? Going to Strawn and Queenstown. Yeah. So that will be really fun. More trains on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Famous. Gordon River Cruise as well. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a real good one. If you'd like to see that, what have you got to do? Hit that subscribe button down below. That's it. And if you like this video, please like this one as well. Thanks very much for watching. We look forward to seeing you then. But mate, we're going to keep walking around this train because this is just brilliant. So cool. All right. If you want to check out when it's running, we'll uh, drop down the website that you can check out. They normally have a timetable uploaded. So you can see when they should be running. Normally it's it's one, maybe two weekends a month. So make sure you're here for that. Little town of Tulla, Western Tasmania. See you later. Bye bye.